So you know what's really cool? I just saw Casey Neistat run past. So I haven't met him yet, but I have now seen him. <laughs> Excellent. I'm currently in LA and this is like the city of art. And I thought it would be appropriate to do this video topic because I recently, mm, recently, four hours ago, there was an article launched about me on Forbes telling people how much I make as a YouTuber. <laughs> I did admittedly provide that information. I wish it was correct information because I actually I have made more money than that. <laughs> I wanted to point it out because I am very proud now of the fact that I've worked ridiculously hard for like 12, 14 years trying to make this thing of my life work. Traveling all around the world, being like a kick-ass business person, I'm just very proud. Also, yes, it's extremely uncomfortable talking about this topic and not a lot of people talk about it, but I also want it to be an inspiration for those people that want to pursue their dreams and want to see if it's possible. And I wanted to say, yes, it's possible. As much as it was really uncomfortable, it felt like I needed to start talking about the fact that I've made it. For now, I hope. This got me thinking. There definitely is this thing called the starving artist and people almost feel proud to have this. And I think that it is because you're afraid that if you become a business person, it steals away from your art and you're not really truly an artist. Luckily for me, I came from a background of a business person first and it was <laughs> four or five years ago, I literally thought I had nothing creative in me at all, not even tiny bits of creativity. My grandma was an amazing artist. My sister's an amazing artist. I thought it just like bypassed me. I was like, great. Fantastic. Until five years ago, I was like, ah, and I picked up a camera and things definitely changed for me. Clinton Bop. Respect, dude. This is beautiful. So because I come from the background of being a business person and an artist, I really wanted to be that person that's like, no, no. Being a starving artist should not be a thing. And this is not something you should aspire to because there is... There is nothing sexy about eating two minute noodles all the time and going to the grave with your beautiful art inside you because you didn't know how to sell it. Knowing how to sell your work is vital. It will spread your beautiful gift of being an artist to the world and the world needs more art. LA is loud. <laughs> Even further, I think that not being stressed about money, for example, is gonna give you the headspace to create better art because I've been broke myself and it is not fun. <laughs> it is not, and I literally mean broke in case someone's like, you don't understand, I understand. I've been there, I understand. So in this video, I wanna give you some concrete tips as to what you can do to not be a starving artist. Like step by step, this is the beginning groundwork in case you were an artist. Firstly, it's important to work out how much money you actually need because if you just wanna say, I wanna live off my art full time, what does that mean? So basically, you need to work out how much your all your expenses are. Figure out your eating expenses, other bills, rent, car payments, and a little extra leeway so you can enjoy yourself every single month. And then work out how much that is daily. Striving for a daily figure is a lot more manageable and definitely not as overwhelming and you'll probably realize it's not as much as you thought and then it's just working backwards to figure out how you can make that daily income so you can call yourself a non-starving artist so now that you've figured out how much you have to make per day you can work out how many pieces of music you have to sell how many pieces of art how many pieces of your services <laughs> you have to sell in order to make that amount of money and then it's research and action time and the best education that you're ever going to get is trial and error and i have done this <laughs> A lot let me tell you all the things that I've tried to sell in my time as a business person we've got sold physical products online selling affiliate products selling online coaching information selling online coaching one-on-one -on -one sessions selling my social media skills selling my marketing skills selling photography tours selling ebooks selling tickets to events selling digital products there is a lot that I've trialed and a lot failed and that's the thing a lot failed most of this failed most of this failed but i'm saying all this like if i can make this if i don't consider myself the smartest or the most talented photographer or the best youtuber like i literally don't think i am anything special and i don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing because it just pushes me to keep working but i don't think i'm anything special so if i can do this that means that you guys can do it too like there's there's no restrictions there's if I, i've done it i've done it i'm proof that this thing works starving artist does not have to be a thing the sun only looks good when I do this, but I really like this frame. So here are a few practical things you can do if you want to start building your online presence or not being a starving artist anymore. Set up an online brand using your website as well as social media, get all your social media in place and use all of these tools properly. Don't just like put it up there and be like, <laughs> figure out what makes a great website, figure out what makes great social media work, presence, what makes good photography, what makes great videos, research all of this. If you're a musician, having a great online presence is gonna help you immensely. So also utilize 
advertising your website and social media vital. Initially, when you are just starting up, you obviously need some equipment and that can be very expensive. So what you can do is slowly work your way up with the gear that you have and then eventually start working with brands in exchange for gear. That is like tiny little stepping stones. Then the next thing you want to look at is maybe some PR. Do something very unique and different. So me, when I started as a photographer, as a joke, but I think that's my business brain working. Like I always look at to do things that are slightly different from everyone else because I don't want to be like everyone else because that's that's a very hard pool to compete against. So I'm always looking for something different. So when I started with my photography, I created the bikini in the snow photo series and it went viral. That was one of my biggest features that I've ever had in my photography. And it was a ridiculous concept, but it was different. So what can you do PR wise that is going to get in people's faces and then follow up, email these people and say, hey, I have a really unique story. This is what it is. Do you think this is of interest to you? Never wait for people to find you. You have to push yourself in front of people. I know it's uncomfortable. I know it's uncomfortable, but this is how it happens. It's so bright out there and I'm melting and it's loud everywhere. Mm -hmm. A big thing that I am massive fan of and I wish I could if there's one thing you take away from anything that I say, this would be amazing. So what you want to do is really package the information that you know and sell it into online products like ebooks, online courses, because this thing is a game changer. It is massive because it puts you in a position of power. You become the authority in this niche of yours. <laughs> I thought it was funny to create advanced selfies and I had so many questions about it that I was like, the only way that this is going to work is for me to create an online course because I'm not going to put out a video about what to do with your hands when you're posing. But I put that in my advanced selfie university that I created. For yourself, like if you're an artist, like a painter, how the thought process of how you go through this. Photographer, same thing, like find a niche that is so unique that you can talk about. And that is a way for you to get some income and you can sell it through all your YouTube videos online, through your newsletter. But don't wait for people to come to you. You push your knowledge onto people if it is valuable, of course, and it makes sense to do so. And the next thing and the most important step of all of of this is to just do it is very hard lots of people find excuses myself included as to why I can't do certain things or why I'm not talented enough or why I shouldn't do this you just have to do if you want to be a youtuber you do if you want to be a musician you create music if you want to be a business owner you do you just do and if you're sitting here confused as to like what you actually are like you have no idea what you are still maybe one you're too young and you still have to work it out and that's fine because sometimes it takes a really long time to work it out what you want to do and it always shifts and molds by the way or two maybe ask your friends and family what you're good at what your strengths are what they believe is most valuable why do they come to you for advice and that could be a really nice starting point for you to be like oh that's me that's nice and then you can build up on it if it feels right for you so what are some other things you can do to not be a starving artist let me know some of the things that you've done yourself if you can probably see me because i don't think you're a frame um what have you done that has helped you to make money as an artist uh is it selling gigs selling gigs out i would love to know and also let's promote ourselves each other here and tell me down below what you do links to websites anything like that i want to see what you guys do i'm very intrigued here is my instagram and twitter if you would like to see more and until next time guys And if your mama and daddy still don't believe that there's money in art, just, just send them that link, the Forbes link. That should take care of that problem. <laughs>